a up and I thought I'd just do a quick introduction um, to this series of videos uh, on the Northumberland coast. Um, there's about seven videos altogether uh, that will appear on the channel, not uh, in sequence because there's other subjects uh, I'm going to photograph in between. Some of them are seasonal, so I'm trying to get out to photograph spring at the minute, but uh, the weather's gone British uh, on us, unfortunately. So, my trips, I tend to do uh, quite a bit of planning, and uh, the plan here, uh, we based ourselves at Haggerston Castle, which is a nice holiday park on the Northumberland coast, very close to all the places that we wanted to photograph, and right next to the A1 as well, the road to the north, so a really good location to base yourself there on that coastline. Really nice caravan, um, probably more than likely going to go back to the Northumberland coast, probably next year now maybe, we'll see, um, but that's definitely a great place to base yourself. And stopping in the caravan, it's so convenient because you can come and go when you want, and uh, yeah, we love it. Anyway, so first video is, is at Sea Houses, and we only planned to stay here for a short period of time. Um, the idea was just to grab a couple of shots on the beach of the subject and get a first impression of the coastline. Um, however, uh, that coastline, uh, particularly there, was so alien-like, it, uh, it was unreal. Fantastic rocks, as you'll see in the video. So, um, yeah, we had about three hours there because we had to check in at the uh, holiday park. We had a, a COVID time slot to check in. And um, the plan was a couple of hours on the beach and then grab some fish and chips. But uh, unfortunately, we had to miss the fish and chips out. We did say 15 quid though. Let's join the video. Hey up and uh, welcome to this video. We've just arrived on the Northumberland coast and what a fantastic place it is. Uh, we've arrived in uh, the fishing village of Sea Houses and we've come to uh, take a picture of this building. That's today's subject. And whilst we're in Northumberland, I'm gonna talk a little bit how I put compositions together, how I start to look at an image. So we generally always start with a subject. So this is today's subject. It's, it's not an outside toilet or anything. It's, uh, it was built in 1886 and it was used to store gunpowder. And it's built up on the rocks away from all the houses and properties for an obvious reason. Because if this went up in smoke, it would probably take all the houses that were built next to it as well. So. Yeah, we're going to take, take we're going to make some compositions using this subject. Now, this first shot I've put up is basically a standard, what you'd probably call, or some people call a record shot. Okay, so it's very standard. Just looks, it's just a straightforward shot of that building. But photographers and photography is all about trying to make a, the picture look more interesting. So what we're going to do, we're going to take various compositions that try and make that building look more interesting. So here's an example now of um, the same subject, the same building with some foreground interest. This was just a quick and held shot that I took, but you get the idea. Now the image is looking a little bit more interesting than just the standard record shot. So we're going to use this beach we're going to move around this beach and there's lots of uh, rocks and leading lines and rock pools where we can build in a composition to try and make that building look more interesting. 
We also want to show to the viewer that how remote this building is. So we need to compose the image to try and push it back into the distance. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Oh, what a fantastic place. Okay, as you can see, I've come uh, much further back now and we are getting a much wider shot. Um, we're using lines in the rocks and, and the kind of the rocks step backwards uh, towards the subject we're photographing. And really, the rocks have, have really got really lots of interesting circles and pinnacles in them. Great subject and it is making the image that much more interesting from the standard shot that we started out with. Okay, let's just dissect this image then. So all these compositions uh, keep the sky to a minimum. It's blue and there's not a lot of uh, great interest in it. So the powder house is sitting in the upper right of the image. It's perched on this segment of rocks which sit in the right of the frame. And then in the left of the frame, we've got another segment of rocks which balances that upper part of the image out. Then, in the bottom half of the image, we've got the rocks which look amazing with the, the textures and the swirls and the mini pinnacles. And then we've also got some small um, rock pools in the bottom of that image, which are building it up. The only question mark I've got, which you'll see, is in the upper part of the image, that space between the rocks. I don't know if that's a distraction to the overall image. I'm, I'm kind of sitting on the fence here with this, but overall I do like that image. There's some nice light. Um, yeah, it probably does work. The problem is here, there's that much material. You've got to slow down to try and get the best image. And I can see one, I can see a better shot now where I'm going to move forward and uh, get a slightly more zoomed in composition but it does look really nice so it really pays to slow down when you're putting a composition together just to take your time and just have a look at what you've got in front of you because uh, there's just lots of material here lots going wide okay showing more detail pushing the subject smaller so we're moving further away from the subject and it's a lot smaller and we're starting to show that remoteness but we can go even further back and show it uh, in an even more remote uh, setting now i really do like this one now we have put a bit more of the um, sky in to this image but we've got this leading line that takes us up to that gap in between the rocks we've got other lines as well that takes us up to that space and the rocks in the foreground look at this here in the bottom right we've got this like little alien face miserable looking face turned up lip um, would have been better if it was smiling and there's a little uh, little eye there as well lovely foreground lovely textures and colors in these rocks up to the uh, top left hand side of the image we've got that rock balancing out the rock on the right hand side where the pad house is actually sitting and I think in this image that space between the rocks I think it works because it's quite small it's not as significant as maybe in the first image so I can live with that in this one and in the sky as well I can also live with that cloud because that cloud does fit into the top of the image there and fill that space which would be dead space otherwise and this building is not the most exciting building it's the not not the most beautiful looking building but it's uh, it's got history and it's a listed building 
So it's quite important. Okay, I'm going to do this next shot handheld because um, carrying the tripod over these slippy rocks is not, uh, not good. And the composition that I've seen is literally these layers of rocks here that are like little pinnacles leading up to the, the gunpowder store. And it's, uh, and I'm pretty wide here. I'm at uh, 20, I'm at 24 mil on the 24 to 70. And uh, the shadow's in the way at the minute, that's a problem. Oh, these rocks just keep giving. So, powder house again in that upper right. Um, and then these rocks in the foreground kind of go into layers and pinnacles and textures and, and the colours and they kind of step back to give the, the image some depth. And uh, yeah, I really like this. Very alien looking landscape that we had in front of us. And uh, again, the powder house is sitting on that rocks on the right hand side and we've got that other group of rocks balancing out that top of the image and little bits of in interest of shadow here in the, in the image and uh, we've still got that gap to contend with now i've got the uh, i've got the subject smack in the middle of the uh, the composition at the minute so in this next shot, um, we've gone portrait and we've got some very small dark rock pools in the foreground, anchoring the bottom of the image. And then we go up again in layers of rocks and we've got some diagonal lines going up in this image to the top. Um, and we've, we've centered the powder house this time in this shot, which I think it does work and I'm not worried about that space on the left. Uh, that's okay. Nice colours, textures in the rocks. Yeah, I quite like this. Sky, not so good. These rocks are absolutely gorgeous. Really just swirls of rocks, little pinnacles, little rock pools, even standing now moving, again, moving further forward. <laughs> Excuse me. Has, uh, has given me another composition. Look at this, how these rocks sweep round. I really like this one. This uh, sweeps round from the bottom of the image and the rocks go and, turn and bend to the right and take you right up to the, uh, to the subject. I'm not gonna focus stack this. I'm just gonna leave this at F11. Now, I really do like this one. Um, again, we slightly centered with the powder house but we've got this line going up taking us up to the top where the powder house is situated and the rock in the foreground layers up from the bottom with all its swirls and textures and colors uh, and really builds the image up from the bottom up all the way up to the powder house itself really nice shot this i love this Sky, not fantastic, but uh, we'll just have to live with that. But uh, all in all, I do like this. This is probably so far my favorite uh, composition. Sun's gone in, come on sun. I don't want to get too near the water. Now we've got this, we've got the sea coming from this channel here. And I'm just gonna see what this is like. That's, uh, that's not a bad shot, it's not as good. Now this next one didn't quite work for me. Uh, we'd pulled in at 70 mil, we'd moved much further around to the right and I was trying to get a triangle here from the bottom that led up to the powder house and it didn't quite work out, I felt. We'd got some uh, horizontal lines in the rocks this time on top of the triangle. This foreground rock is the kind of anchor point. And um, 
the sky was okay, the cloud formation was okay, but I thought I'd just show you this because I wasn't quite um, happy with this as I was with some of the other shots. Let's go further back. If we come to the left, we've got these rock pools that are now starting to add interest to the image. I'm at 24 mil at the minute. The sun's gone in, but we've got the, uh, the sky reflecting in these pools. And again, these pools are making nice foreground interest. Move further back now, and we've exposed these rock pools that are reflecting the blue sky, uh, which do make a nice foreground and give this image um, depth. And uh, again, we've got some lines there that take us up to the powder house, and we've got some balance with the two rocks either side of that gap. And uh, yeah, maybe that gap does work. Uh, the clouds are okay in this image. But I do like the colours, the browns, the oranges in this shot. Really happy with these images uh, in this area. If the rest of the Northumberland coastline is as good as this, uh, there could well be some very long videos. Now... Okay, I think this is the last composition I'm going to talk you through. Um, standing here, looking at it, I really like it. When I look through camera, it don't look so good for some reason. Um, so, this is probably going to be one of those shots that when you get home, you have to try and do a little bit of processing skills, apply processing skills to really bring the image out. So what we've got, I'll walk into the image without slipping. What we've got, we've got like a, a, a group of rocks, a series of rocks. So we've got this one here. Okay, we've got another one to the right, another small one just to the left, and another one on the far left, and we've got the subject in the background. And as I've just said, when you stand in here, it looks really nice, this group of rocks building up a composition. But looking on camera, I'm not so sure. I'm going to put the image up now and let you see it and see what you think. Uh, I'll put it up irrespective of whether it comes out or not, but this is just one of them images that uh, I'm not sure about. Well, I thought we'd ended the video, but I've just found an even better composition that uh, I just want to show you and talk you through. That's if you can hear me. So we've moved around now. So we've got the sea coming into the right hand side of the shot uh, and the waves are, are moving up and over the rocks. And we've got the uh, gunpowder storage uh, house even more in the distance. So we're showing the sea and the gunpowder house in the same composition. So I'm just waiting for the wave, uh, a decent wave to crash on these rocks. Then I'm going to put 10 stop on. God, we're not, we're not done on this video, are we? I'm going to put the 10 stop on and um, I'm going to do some uh, long exposures to uh, blend this water. Here's a nice big wave coming. That's going to crash. Fire the shutter, fire the shutter, fire, 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 fire. This is going to be a crop. 
I keep adjusting the, uh, the composition. Let's try this one. Wave, 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 wave. Just crashing nice. So I managed to align the waves where I wanted them to be after taking quite a few exposures and it gave us this line here, this first wave at the back uh, taken us across to the powder house then the front wave where we've got some action also taken us across to the powder house and then there's some other lines in the rocks there so it was okay um, I don't think it was spectacular uh, and I don't like the sky. The sky just don't work uh, on this image. And what I'll do for the slideshow, I'll see if I can replace this sky in Photoshop to try and make that image um, look better or, or certainly give that sky a bit more uh, of a lift. We've now got the powder house as far away as I dare put it in the shot. Any further back and it would have uh, disappeared into the distance. But after fumbling around with that 10 stop uh, filter, uh, really, really pleased with the effect we've got here. We've got some lines on the waves leading us across. We've got some interest on the right there with that sort of mist over the rocks. And on the left, we've got some uh, rocks with some nice warm sunlight on them. Um, sky rubbish. Again, I might replace that in Photoshop. Um, but this was an interesting opportunity I missed here. These rocks in the upper part, if I'd have put my 270 to 200 mil lens on and put my uh, filter on that, we would have got a composition looking like this though so this is a crop of that image look at how good that would have looked with the uh, 70 to 200 mil lens on maybe next time uh, we'll have a crack at that well what an introduction uh, that was to the uh, Northumbrian coastline um, it looked amazing very alien like those rocks uh, I couldn't believe uh, the amount of sort of content that was there on the beach um, yeah, and the learning was there really that we needed longer, we needed longer there. We needed to, to spend time and see the tide come in, 
the tide go out and see all the other opportunities that there probably is there to uh, to grab some better shots um, but that's for the future we will return for sure and uh, next time we'll plan uh, probably a full day there and uh, and take some time anyway um, we're going to finish on a slideshow because uh, you didn't see all the images that I took and uh, some of what you've already seen in the video were raw files as well so you'll see them processed and uh, I think it's important to present your work so on this slideshow um, I'm going to put the images in a nice frame and uh, yeah just to to give them uh, a better better finish at the end of the video you'll see a preview of uh, the next video and uh, I've not decided what it's going to be yet which is a bit strange because you're about to see it uh, at the end of the slideshow uh, but for now thank you for watching uh, the video thank you if you're a new subscriber thank you very much it's very appreciated pop a comment in the bottom what did you think of the pictures what did you think of the video don't be shy I won't bite um, share the video and uh, for now I'll see you later Thank you.